Hi, I want to show you how you can do this kind of animation in KinEffects. An object comes, picks up another object and releases it. So let me show you the setup first. For the points I only use this point and I name all the bones. It's a ball, box one, two, and three. Merge it together, rig doctor, and uh, that's it. Now for the geometry, you can see very simple. Just some, I have just some simple geometry nodes. I put some color, and uh, we apply weights. Very simple as well and uh, here's our final bone, bone deform and here are the constraints I'll show you two methods uh, here are the constraints and uh, here are the rig poses so the animation of the bones I want to give a shout out to Rock Endic for creating this video which helped me with my tutorial so here goes method number one I just duplicated uh, my notes and deleted the animation. And now I'm gonna show you how to do uh, the blue box. All right, so in here we have, uh, first you need to position your box. So I, I put this in here. If I turn it off, it was in the center. Now I just position it where I wanted to have it. And I have my uh, ball animation ready. So the ball goes here, over the blue box, as you can see on this keyframe. And then it just goes up in the air, rotates a little bit and uh, puts the box down on this frame. Alright, so uh, and uh, then we have a parent constraint in here. And this is actually very simple. I have all uh, three parent constraints for all three boxes in here. You can also do it separately and have uh, for each box its own separate rig, rig wop. So, but uh, it was more convenient to, for me to have it all in the same place. So that's why I put it in here. So basically you just input the transforms uh, from this bone and I'll put it in here. And uh, you, you have also these uh, ball transforms and you parent it to that. So here goes the box transforms, goes into X form and uh, the, the ball transform goes into the new parent and this is a, just a promoted parameter so I don't have to go animate it inside. I can, I can do it from here. So you might, maybe you don't need this. And in here it's actually very simple, N nothing to do in here, and you output the transform over here. Now, and uh, the way to do it is, I'm gonna go in here, and when the when the ball is over the blue box, uh, I'm just gonna go in here, set up keyframe, go to the next frame, and in here I will have the pen constraint blend set I will set it to one so it's fully controlled by by the ball so now you can see the the ball picks up the box and it puts it over the designated place but then because it's still parented yeah, it, it still controls the box so now what we need to do is unparent it but watch what happens when we unparent it so I'm gonna go to this keyframe and uh, I'm gonna set another keyframe go to the next frame and set it to zero so once you un unparent it, it goes right back to where it was. And we don't want that. So one way to counter it is go in here, 
uh, you can just before it pops back to its position you can set a keyframe go to the next keyframe and uh, you can have one way to do it is to do it by hand so eyeball it and sometimes this works well but maybe sometimes you need to be very very precise so you see it slides a little bit maybe you, you don't want that so I'll show you a trick how to put it very precisely so first let me just uh, prepare my space divide it and uh, actually alt 8 to go into the geometry spreadsheet and I'm gonna go into the details tab and I'm gonna go in here and I actually prepared it over here so I wanna see the outputs uh, the transform outputs from, from after the parent constraint and uh, I'm gonna use a this extract transform node and uh, bind the the result to to this attribute test. I'm gonna go bind the transform. So now, if you go in here, okay. So uh, maybe you just need to refresh it somehow. It looks like uh, if I checked and un unchecked this thing, it it did the trick so the good thing is now you can see the exact positions of of the transforms of the box that you need so we can use this and just before just before it's it slides a little bit like this we can uh we only need the X, I think we only need this X transform. So I'm gonna go in here and uh, go actually to the next frame and you paste it in. And you see now it it's perfectly in, in place. Because if if we if you look at uh, these transforms, actually let me pin it. They are exactly the same as these ones. After, after I uh, switch the frame, and now it perfectly stays in the place. So we have this great animation of one one uh, object picking up another object. So this method is a little bit simpler for the setup, but uh, can be more tedious once you do the animation. So let me show you the method number two. All right, let me first switch to the second method. Now in here you can see with the positions we don't have to do any any animation like we did before and the ball animations uh, ball animation is the same now the the difference is in these uh, rig warps so now I have a, a separate rig warp for each for each box and if we go inside it has uh, some more nodes but so good nothing too complicated so we have the input transforms of the ball or actually the parent and uh, input transforms of the box or the child goes again into the parent constraint and I have uh, promoted right click promote attribute promoted this uh, blend parameter so I can do it from so I can animate it from the outside and now I have another blend transform and a stash transform. So after, after the ball picks up the box, 
and then puts it on the place I'm gonna stash the position of that of that box and I'm gonna blend the transform so that it uh, parents it to to this uh, stashed uh, transform position I hope that makes sense and uh, then I'm gonna we're just gonna write the box transform and uh, to make my life easier uh, I just use some parameters so I can set it from the outside and don't have to dive in so that's very very convenient now let me show you how this works in uh, in practical terms so again let's do the blue box so I'm just gonna the, I know the third one is for for the blue box so I'm just gonna de delete it and I'm gonna just duplicate it from the previous ones and uh, I have already this animation in here uh, which you can see it's now it now ruins the green box because first I need to set my my child name bone which is box 3 and uh, yeah you can see it's all messed up because I, I just duplicated the green box but I'm going to use the use this animation that I already created and uh, I'll show you what it does so first we have this blend set to zero you know what let's let's create it from the scratch so all right uh, let's go in here and uh, let's jump to this frame so the ball is over the blue box okay so blend go to next frame and uh, set it to one so now we have this animation so now we parented the the blue box to the ball but as you can see we have to update the offset of, of these two joints as well so i'm gonna go over here where everything is fine just update the offset you might get this error just click ok and uh, now you can see it picks up the box and it's perfect but it doesn't un unparent it so it stays parented all the time and actually one thing if I clear the offset you would see it it, it would like jump back to to the center position yeah, so let me just go back in here update the offset good and now once we go to this keyframe the end keyframe I'm gonna put keyframes on, on the blend and now we go to the next keyframe I will unparent the I will unparent the first first parent and uh, I will set the second parent to one so now the second the the stashed transform controls the position and uh, as you can see again we have we have this problem where we don't have the the transform uh, offset updated and actually if I clear it you would see it jumps right back into the center because now now we have zero 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 and all, all everything is zeroed out but once we go in here again when everything was right we'll we're just gonna stash the transform and uh, now you can see it stays in the place because we switched parents from from the ball to the stashed transform so notice these blends how they switch and uh, the ball releases the box and if we go in here you can see we have these uh, stashed, stashed transforms and I think this is exactly the same number as we had uh, before 
is basically zero and this should be also the same. So notice these, these values got copied into the stash, tra stash transfer. And here's our little animation. Also, please remember that you can uh, just click in here and drag in these, these input and output transforms. So you, you don't have to create, a, create them and type, them, type it all manually. All right, hope this tutorial was useful for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.